Well, made your uh, made your UFC debut earlier this year. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there was a lot of hype around you for a long time. I just want to ask you, kind of, what the experience was like versus your expectations. I mean, the the whole thing. Man, it's it's a 50-50 because you know the whole goal is to make it to the UFC, do very well, and see where it goes from there. The problem was I had nine days to lose 26 pounds plus all the background work, medical tests from EKG, MRI, blood work, eye exam, physical, um, traveling from Jersey or excuse me, Florida to Jersey and Jersey to Utica, and just doing so many things that people don't see in the background. You know, so it wasn't just 26 pounds; it was just all these things that had to be put together. And luckily, honestly, I was able to get everything done, mainly the weight as well. Um, but got the weight in and by the time I got in there I was like oh yeah I gotta fight I forgot that's that's part of the job here and I thought it wasn't my best performance but hey I got the job done a win's a win and I'm more than happy to uh, you know, move on to the next thing I was gonna say I mean like what kind of lessons do you take out because you said it was a tough fight right mm -hmm. but sometimes there's something to be said for finding a way to win in a fight mm -hmm. that's not necessarily going your way right so I mean yeah. how do you feel were you satisfied with the result or were you frustrated what, what did you think uh, again it's another 50 50 because you know I'm always going for the finish no matter what whether I'm winning you know first second third round but you know me it's I want to get the finish 100%. I don't want there to be some speculation to where I got lucky or this happened or that shouldn't happen or whatever the case may be. But, you know, again, I'm, you know, I've been talking to a lot of veterans and a win's a win. You know, I get an extra bonus, that's, which is awesome. And I just move on to the next best thing. So for me, it's right now, it's the, the card in LA. And, you know, again, not the biggest training camp in the world. It's only two months difference. And I was maybe training, you know, helping Kyoji Horiguchi, which was awesome. But, um, you know, the last one I didn't get much, but this one's a little more, so I'm just happy to get this in and see where it goes from, from here. I wonder if it's tough for you, man, because people have been following your career for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. And there's been a lot of expectations, more so than I think most guys in your position, like just getting to the UFC. I mean, yeah. you don't have a ton of pro fights yet. So, I mean, are you okay with your position, or do you think it makes it more difficult because it feels like there's a lot of expectations placed on you? Yeah, there's a lot of expectations placed on me, but I had a, a vast amateur career you know, two two belts and multiple title defenses at Titan FC. I'm not worried about the the background work. Everyone expecting so many things. I mean, I'm very happy about it. Um, you know, if people don't see mainly from my last fight, though, the hype probably got brought down a little bit. That's perfectly fine. I think the expectations are brought up a little bit more for this fight and say, hey, he had a little bit more time to recover, train, and get ready for this. Then so be it. Hopefully, the best uh, Shorty Torres comes out for this fight and against Alex Perez. I mean, he is a phenomenal, phenomenal opponent. So I think it's a great opportunity for me. I did. I wanted to ask you about Alex Perez. What you thought about the matchup and when they offered it to you? I mean, uh, he's guy. He, he does have a lot of pro fights. Mm -hmm. You know, he's had some losses, but he's on a nice run right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, what do you think about him overall as a fighter? Yeah, I think he's a great fighter. He's more of a unanimous decision type of guy. But I know he's always looking for the finish. He's a you know Mexican American that's always pushing forward. Mexican style fighter. So am I. I like to push forward as well. So honestly, I think it's going to be a fight to. Whoever moves back first is going to be the one that loses. You know, it's going to be a brawl type of fight, and that's what, what I'm really hoping and expecting. I know you guys want to get in there and get things done as clean mm -hmm. as possible usually, but it does on paper look like this is going to be some back and forth, you know, be, be ready to go yeah. 15 minutes, be ready to deal with some adversity. You think this is one of those fight of the night type matchups? I think so, mainly because it's such a stacked card. We have to really do something to showcase our skills. We're both, you know, flyweight contenders to where if we win, we can move on to the next best thing, which is top 10. And if we lose, then we're kind of back in that limbo of, all right, we got to get two more wins just to get to that top 10 ranking again. So for us, it is a huge opportunity. You know, both style fighters, I think, just stylistically is a great matchup when it comes to fan entertaining uh, style fight. And, you know, for me, it's, it's I need to prove something, and he wants to move up to the top 10 as well. So, you know, for both of us, the best thing about it, it's a last minute fight, not just for him, but for me as well. So it's, I think it's a very even match. Our styles match up very, very well. And we'll just see who, you know, who moves back first. Do you think we'll see a better representation of you? I mean, do you feel like last time out wasn't because of all the things you said, everything that you yeah. were dealing with, everything <laughs> behind the scenes. Do you feel like this time around, it's, it's a little bit better representation? Yeah, it's a little bit better. I did have a, a little bit more of a training camp. Again, training with Kyoji Horiguchi, which he got to fight uh, the win, which is awesome. And just training with him was, uh, honestly, a huge, huge experience uh, because when I was getting ready for Jared Brooks, I wasn't training. I was getting ready for possibly a 145-pound title fight, which the power, the speed, the weight is much different. Um, my weight was much different. And I was helping four women get ready for a fight. So again, the same thing, the power, the speed, the technique, all that stuff is a little different. So when I got to small Jared Brooks, I was like, oh my God, he's so fast. He's doing this. I was like, I just wasn't prepared mentally. I wasn't prepared physically. But this one, again, I was training. I was helping people. I was staying ready. I was in shape given I wasn't ready for a fight. But hey, you know, you got to be ready for anything. That's what the opportunity I'm taking. 
well, you know the expectations have always been placed on you, but I wonder, what, what are the expectations you have yourself? You know, knowing that your USC debut is done, mm -hmm. learning what you learn, and getting ready for this meeting, what are the expectations for yourself? What, what are your immediate goals? You know, my, my immediate goal with this fight is just to put on a performance. You know, I've never been in any of my amateur fights, my Titan FC fights. I've never been, oh, I want to be a champion, I want to be this, I want to win, win, win. If I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. I just want to put on an entertaining fight, and that's my goal. If it's a boring fight, then I'm not just failing the fans, but I'm failing myself. You know, so for me, I want to put on a, a fantastic show. So when I found out, one, I had a lot more time to make the weight, and two, it was against Alex Perez that I know was going to stand there, bang, and, and really try to put on a performance. I, it's a, it was a fight I couldn't deny.